<laughs> Welcome back to the One Oaks 101 show where we are trying to figure out how best to taste wine and savor wine and sip wine and all that kind of jazz. And today we're talking a little bit about rim variation. Rim. It's like rim variation. I don't know. Rim variation. And I mean at the same time while you are trying to identify this and um, exploring the rim, you, you can also uh, fix your hair, which um, shouldn't actually be done. Don't waste wine. Don't waste wine. So with rim variation, it's actually just a nice function to identify the different colors in the wine. You can't really do that with a young wine. I think you saw that in the previous, in the previous uh, uh, episodes. On the red wines, it hasn't had enough time to mature and, and, and actually break down the various different colors into different colors. So you're not going to have variation. And also on the, on the aged um, white wines, it's just going to be too clear and too light. So you actually do need to look at rim variation for more of an aged wine. So one of the best ways to, to do so is you actually just tip the wine over like so, nice and simple. And you can see this is the, 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 the nice deep area when looking at rim variation. And um, this is the more shallow area. So obviously as the, as the wine gets more shallow and shallow, you can start seeing the various different colors which reflect in the wine. So I'm gonna go and put this in the sun and you can have a quick look at the two differences right here. What I am trying to look for in the um, white wines, which is yellow and this one's gold, is I am trying to see the various colors in and around that yellow spectrum, even greens. And I'm going from silver, through straw colors, yellows, browns, greens. So, so greens will actually come from the chlorophyll. So, some, so sometimes when they're doing um, manual um, pickings, they're gonna really pick all of the same colored uh, grapes. But if they do this automatic type picking, or if they've chosen to pick more green grapes, you are gonna get that green chlorophyll in your white wine. And on the red side, it goes from, from the um, strawberry reds, nice, um, ruby reds and then it starts going more into the purples and then if you mix a bit of purple with brown you're gonna get garnet which is a brown or yellow but but think of that being mixed a little bit with the purple and then on the furthest furthest side of that you're gonna get the browns so let's go see if we can identify that um, and just put that into light so that's uh, so that's rim variation and I, I can't I can't stop smiling when I say that word but nonetheless sediments also really an important thing to identify the wine and identify the origin of the wine so I'll see you there um, uh, good wine tasting good wine checking and good wine drinking mm -hmm.